All right, welcome everybody in Los Santos. Finally, for the first time in seven shows, we are not in Los Venturas, the worst city in the world. Okay, today is the interview session. We have Christy Edge. Say hi to him, Christy Edge. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes good. Now, one thing before we get to the sponsor, okay, Christy Edge. Now, I am the host of this show, okay, Rashan. I'm the host. It doesn't matter if Ali or Cyborg is around. Cyborg's not here, obviously. This is a DMH zone, all right? This is a DMH zone because I am the host. And DMH trumps Sam all day, every day. No, Remember shut that? up. No, no, that's a lie. <laughs> Everyone knows. Right, Cyborg? No, Sam is finished. No. Okay. No. And uh, also, shout out to Cyborg, who is not here, as usual. Uh, today is Cyborg's birthday. I'll try not to make fun of him today. Uh, if you have a forum account, please go with Cyberg a happy birthday and make sure that you post a meme to go along with that. Okay. That one liner type meme that they like. Okay. So before we start with Christy Edge here, let's get into our sponsor, the Maibatsu Womb. She may have your balls at a vice, but that doesn't mean you have to lose everything. I'm a salesman, so I'm constantly on the road. My wife was so worried that I'd spend all my time in strip clubs rather than family picnics. That's why she got me the Maibatsu Womb. It's the Maibatsu Womb. It's the minivan any man can be proud to drive. There's a cooler for beers, plus a beautiful TV right in the dashboard so you don't miss the game. Now I can watch porn while I'm driving and masturbate on a commute to work. And there's an air horn with a pull chain so other cars know you're coming. The Maibatsu Womb. You may be married, but you're still a man. Honestly. I guess that was the Maibatsu Womb. Um, for the past two hours, I was talking to Gamer9 on IRC, just like last week. That's gay. <laughs> I wish luck for my brain. All right, Christy Edge, so the first question is always the same. Uh, when and how did you find CNR? Oh, well, that happened a long time, a long time ago. I'm assuming, if I remember correctly, it was late 2020, 2009, early 2010. Me and Rich were just surfing the web for new games. We were like 11, 12. And we found this this San Andreas multiplayer. So we were browsing the servers. And um, I first I first found it. He didn't really like it. I kept playing for a while. He joined me afterwards. He was a cheater back then. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's fine. I wasn't cheating then though. So, so yeah, we, I won a lot I think and that's why I kept staying. But I can't really remember to be honest. It took really long. Okay, so so you both were cheaters, huh? You both were Samp cheaters, huh? Weren't you? Uh, no. no, only him. But not from the beginning. After we played a while, he started using them. What a noob. Shh. Shh. I didn't say that. Shh. So, uh, so you've known Rich since 2009, huh? Uh, did you, uh, did you not... fags know each other in real life or just... Uh... I know him since we were five, since kindergarten. We were neighbors. And I, uh, we were like best friends in real life, so yeah. Great. I thought you just knew uh, Mukles in yeah, real life. Yeah, I, I knew Mukles too. I actually met Mukles uh, <laughs> online, which is funny because I live in a 10,000 town, a 10,000 population town, and I met him online. And eventually we became good friends and like best friends with me and Rich and him. Well, that's pretty damn good, you know. Um... You see, I, I've known Christy Edge since, um, how old are you now? Like, what, you're like 18, something like that? I'm 18, uh, I'm turning 20 in December. Oh, I've known this guy since um, he was 13 when we played uh, Mini Missions. Remember Mini Missions? Yes. Um, of course. <laughs> yep, that was the DAO server, I tell you. Um, me and Christy Edge, you were admins on that server, as I've said before um we'll we'll talk about mini missions a bit later though because somebody had a question about that uh but first let's let's talk about sam okay uh wait. so we, we <laughs> what? actually actually wait did you really know me from mini missions because i was playing cnr before 
Did, did you see me say now? <laughs> um, I don't remember which server <laughs> I saw fine. you on first. I, I, I do remember you were on that uh, that gay uh, mini missions copy server, that uh, mini game server, and that's how you got the uh, the mini the the MG tag, the mug tag. Well, so I assumed, true. yeah, I assumed that you uh, played the mug server before you started playing CNR because Indeed, of that tag. So, yeah. Actually, I know, I'm, I'm not sure if it was before, but I think I wanted to get a tag, but I, there was a comment in uh, that minigame server, but I don't know about it, so I just changed it from the some to client list. And I forgot to change it to the other oh, server, no. so it came like that. <laughs> yep, so even though, I mean, that server is still around, it, it is dirt, and uh, the same owner owns many missions and many games, but the server is dirt. But yeah, we'll, unfortunately we'll talk for about you, that later. <laughs> yep, the mug tag. So, you know, like I said, obviously, Sam, you know, the dirt gang of CNR, um, you know, it's, it's 10 years old, you know, older than most gangs in CNR. So when did you join Sam? Who invited you to Sam? That's actually a funny story. Oh uh, before I officially joined Sam when I was 13, so I'm assuming it was 2013, 2012. But before, uh, before I made an application for Sam um, in like 2011, I think I can remember. And I got accepted, but on a trial period. And I was like, yay, I got accepted. And I told Marcus to join too. <laughs> and Marcus made an application. And I told him that we live in the same town we used to live. And by that, um, we had kind of the same IPs. And what did Polly think? Well, that guy must be the same. I mean, Christy just yes. created a new account after he got accepted. How dumb is that? So I'm going to ban both of them. <laughs> so we got bad. <laughs> well, I kept helping Sam in game and like killing other DMH, and I joined. Dude. I joined the Lost Motorcycle MC Motorcycle Club. And if you remember the group on yes. Final Carov, they were allied to Sam, and I, to be honest, I got there just to get in Sam. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then I started helping them. They saw me as a valuable member, of course. And they accepted me afterwards, when I was 13. So yeah, my first application was when I was 12, I think. So yeah, oh. fuck you, Polly. Yeah, cheat. Oh, see, look at that. The Sam, the Sam logic right there. Uh, look, I see someone apply to Sam. Oh, look, I see another person apply to Sam. Oh, look, <laughs> they have same IP. Oh, One it's person. It looks similar. Oh. I what was it Paul Ligata who did that? Who said who yes. fuck you? Yes. <laughs> well, they barely accepted me at first. So most of them were like, "No, who are you? Too young. I don't like you." I actually have a a few beefs with Terror, if you remember him, and yes. Kick him, I think. I didn't really like them. <laughs> they kept killing me. So yeah, I was twelve back then. So what can you expect? Well, I wouldn't uh, pay too much mind to Terror because his name is spelled wrong. Uh, and, you know, you, Chris, you, Polly, and Mukles are all from the same country. So I would think that Polly Gato would know a lot more about Romanian IPs. But, uh, you know, there you go. That's, that's Polly Gato being a Sam dog right there. Strike one to Sam. Okay. Speaking of Polly Gato. Um, now, and, and Eric Hunt's here, so he'll know what I'm talking about, but, uh, I don't expect you to know this because it's not something that I've seen you talk about, but, uh, see, Eric Hunt and Polly Gatto, you know, they have this thing that they used to talk about in IRC, okay? Uh, they used to talk about, uh, uh bro jobs, bro jobs a lot, uh, not a lot. Yeah, I actually remember. <sighs> now, I don't know what... For sure, what kind of joke that was, um, but do you know what that was about? But if not, are they fucked in the head like the rest of Sam? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Paul is more fucked than us. <laughs> but Eric is quite there. Uh, I trust Eric. 
But I can I actually don't even know what was that between them. Well, Eric is saying right now on chat that it wasn't a joke. So I guess it wasn't a joke. They might have met in real life and did that to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, see, you know, uh, I, I hear Eric Khan, uh, he travels around Europe, you know, he's a traveler, right? So uh, he uh, went on a European road trip and one of the destinations was Romania. So, of course, he had to go to Poligato's house and, uh, you know, they made the magic, you know? Yeah, that yeah. might be true. Even though <laughs> that faggot didn't call me, I, I would have loved to go. Fucking fucking holy <laughs> god. Shout out to Eric Khan. See, I just uh I exposed his uh his plan right there, you know, what a noob. Love you, Eric. Hey. Set it like also uh when is the next time that Sam is gonna have a rape tank? See, uh for those that don't matter, uh, these like I said a few weeks ago, uh these fags, Christy Edge, Bombshell, uh Button Abad. They were going around the server, they had a rape tank, and they went around the city, and they raped a bunch of people, you know, uh, and uh, they they raped me to death because they're all fags, uh, and um, Sam, because of that, should get sent into the moon. But uh, when's the next time we'll see a rape tank here from Sam? Actually, that's a question for Eric. I kept asking him to come and play CNR, but it's like, no, I'm gonna play that battle, Banos, ground that new game everyone is so crazy about good and he just wouldn't come to see it right? I, I actually can't believe that he's here right now so raped I, I, i'm kind of lazy to organize and i kind of don't have time actually to play this anymore <laughs> i've just started university so yeah Rip. uh also PUBG. you might as well call it pub g because it's a it's a bad game okay um yeah that's, basically yeah. Yeah, the the only way for it to make sense is if you win if you're the last man standing and if you suck then the game sucks actually the game sucks either way uh, well it looks so funny i've seen some gameplays but i'm just too cheap to buy it <laughs> cheap ass <laughs> now even if the game was five dollars i wouldn't buy it uh it's a I snake would... game actually i never bought a game so i never bought a game yeah so <laughs> Are you saying you didn't you didn't buy the game or you have never bought a game? I have never bought a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there that you has go. Yes, Rocket League, so yeah. I'm a, I'm a pirate, what can I say? Um but I'm pretty sure you do need to buy CS Joke or Rocket League, well, unless someone gave it to you. Of course, Captain John did because I want something related to Sam. Course. I think it was some DM tournament. I was always winning them. This one versus one we used to hold. I was always winning them, so <laughs> I got a lot of free stuff. See, there you go, guys. Uh, Christy Edge is a pirate. He has been playing this game since a while, and he uh, has pirated every single game he has, which means he needs to get reported to the government and get sent in jail gg he has just uh good good luck doing that in romania <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck good to keep you villa all right <laughs> let's see christy edge all right so there have been a lot of gangs in cnr history okay you know you got the crappy ones like rep game we abuse and all that made by hollow tips and of course we have sam which is finished okay um <laughs> But we also have DMH, right? DMH is the best gang in the history of CNR. So what is your opinion of DMH? They suck. <laughs> well, on a serious note, they were awesome comparing to what's now. I mean, even as enemies, she were great. I can't, I can't argue with that. That's They're, true. They were... Uh, just take a look a lot of guys that were back then members and actively actively playing uh, taking part of wars are now admins and yeah that kind of tells you about the quality of players yeah it's true but, uh well, go ahead sorry but that also applies to sam <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. awesome we're more awesome <laughs> Well, you know, it, it may be true that there are uh, 
more Sam members that play today. Uh, my theory about you know DMH not being as active as they once were is you know Crazy Bob needed a way to uh, reduce the effectiveness of the gang. So he was like, "Hey, let's make a bunch of DMH players admin, and then they're not gonna gang war anymore." <laughs> and Crazy Bob's plan worked. And there that you go. True. I remember Brody getting his admin right uh, after he took part of, in a gang war. He, he took part in a gang war <laughs> in the morning and the night he got the admin. <laughs> so yeah, it was nice. He even killed me that day, I won't remember. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But yeah, what you said before, yes. Uh, DMH, Sam, even, even Gaza to some extent. Uh, these gangs... They were a lot better than what we have now. Now we have a bunch of dirts, you know, we have Los Venturis Albanians and uh, Los oh, uh, you know, a bunch of Fags PH gangs uh, doing dumb stuff and whatever. Actually, I'm not gonna agree with you because back in the days, uh, after the, uh, maybe even before, a lot of guys were bug abusing. I've, actually, we have, we've been doing everything but cheating. We will had the limit there, not cheat. Uh, anything than, than that, we would do. I mean, I, I bugged and used everything on this server. <laughs> and a lot of other guys did. Even from DMH, even from Sam, even from Gaza. It didn't really matter. Even yeah. admins, even guys that got admin now, were like posting screenshots with their killing, with, I don't know, yeah, something like that. Well, still, you know, uh, yes, there was a lot of bug abuse, but um, I don't know, it, it depends because, you know, aimbot wasn't really well, a thing back cheating. then. We, we were never cheating. Even if someone from Gaza uh, were, was cheating, was caught cheating, he would get kicked. I mean, yeah, I, I can I can only remember one cheater, like Ghost Pick and Rose, they were like the only cheater back in the den that kept playing and didn't get kicked or something because they had their own gang. But now it's quite normal for them to cheat. They're not even getting kicked anymore. So yeah, there is no honor left. Yep, the honor is gone. Now, um, about Sam again. Obviously, um, I don't know if Sam is actively recruiting. You know, if Sam uh, invited that Los Santos guy, Africans or Africans. Uh, sorry to that guy. His uh, his brain is out the window for accepting <laughs> an invitation to Sam. Uh, but a few years ago, okay, uh, do, you, do you remember Titus Scar and, and uh, Vito Scar? Uh, yeah, I think Titus is Sam. <laughs> yep, that's the thing. Now, um, back in the day, I was thinking, hmm, this is just Sam being Sam. Why would Sam invite two fags who uh, are... are, are Terrible players, they suck, they're more ads from the Malaysian Internet Cafe. Uh, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. One of them has a uh, avatar or something dumb. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I know that you're not the only person, you know, that's in the process to accept people. But uh, at the time, didn't you and the rest of Sam know that these two were punks, fools? Well, first of all, we don't invite people, they apply and we accept. Okay. But about Titus, yeah, I remember he used to be a Borat, but after he joined Sam, if I remember correctly, he started becoming better. And oh, really? I actually, well, I think I did. I can't remember him doing any, like cheating or something. Did he cheat? Uh, I don't think so. So, yeah, I mean, he was a decent player after all. I mean, we had Albanians you know, at the time, <laughs> at the time. <laughs> and even an Albanian twice. I mean, he, he got kicked with an account and then rejoined with another one. <laughs> and we were that stupid to believe him. <laughs> ah, the... I, think, I think it was Iregon Ir Ir and Al Eno, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, I remember that guy, Al Eno, yes. Well, we needed a, we need a lot of, we used to need a lot of help back in the days. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, well, fag won the lotto. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit, give money. Oh, shit. 
GG just won fucking Lotto. Uh, <laughs> I won Lotto during the uh, radio show. GG, how about that? Yeah, you should give how me the money. Uh, I won Lotto, bro. I won Lotto during the... Uh... <laughs> GG. It was uh, $3.2 million. GG, how about that? I mean, excellent. Catch me outside. Holy snit, man. Um, yeah, where were we? Oh, yes. Um, okay, first I need to give this guy uh, a chicken. Um, <laughs> I need to give this guy a chicken because he's a, he's a faggot. Uh, cool. Tithexmo? Tithexmo? No, Tithexmo was cool, bro. Tithexmo was... Uh, I I'm just he's, he's very cool. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Vigin Yu. I, I read his name somewhere. But I'm just going to give him a random chicken. Um... I hope that this person uh, goes to the farm and yeah, says, Oh, Sean, uh, hey, Sean, you give me chicken for no reason. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> yeah, it's a faggot. <laughs> you see, man, there's a WTF, WTF. Fuck you, dude. Okay, Actually, was Assassin was making a joke, a joke regarding Cyrus and Vigano, making them like uh, a couple. <laughs> yeah, it happened oh. like two weeks ago. Yeah, so it's nice you chickening him. Was oh, that a, is that a Sam Amber too? Vigano. Yes. No, I think he's an oh. Albanian. I I've only met him since I'm back. I have no idea who is him. Who is he? Wow, what a noob! Indeed. What a noob. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's see here. Oh yes, okay. So uh, remember a few years ago you. And a few member of a, a few members of Sam, right? Uh, we were in the uh, that cop group, you know, that we talk about. Wow, Cusa, remember Cusa? <laughs> yeah, Warlord said that he never took, uh, he was never part of Cusa. The cop group. Did you hear me? Warlord said to me a few days ago that he never took part of Cusa. Cusa. He never I took. To... Yeah, he was never in Cusa. That's what he said. <laughs> I, I I took a screenshot of that. So yeah. Okay, keep going. Uh, Borald, Borald was like one of the last, uh, you know, uh, saviors or, uh, you know, believers in Cusa, you know. So uh, that's that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Yeah. He's lying. But uh, yeah, that's let's right. see. So, yeah, what a fag world is. Hold it. Let's see here. Um, so there was one day, right, that it was decided that all Sam members from Cusa would be kicked. Now, I don't remember why this happened. Do you remember why this happened? I don't really think so. Didn't I leave? Did I get kicked? Uh, I don't know. I think I remember Sphincter Begee. There was some problem and uh, Sphincter Begee, Sphincter Benaire was like, oh, okay, uh, the solution is, is uh, we're going to just kick every member from Sam from Cusa and, uh, you know, that's how it went. Yeah, that Sphinx of Bonaire, that my guy was really a pain in the ass. I never <laughs> asked him. Even when we were in Mumble, he was just saying random stupid shit. I just, I can't believe he got that mean, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, we can say that about a few people. Uh, I have one person in mind that I uh, will not say, but he used to be a Sam member, I'll tell you that. In fact, uh, I was in mumble Sam with Sam? him. Uh, <laughs> wow, there you go. <laughs> there you go. You you guessed. You guessed it. GG. Um, okay. That's just like that's just like uh, the Doctor Friday White Knight uh, unmasking right there. Okay. Speaking of speaking of Zantar, kind of. Uh, so back in 2012 or so, right? Uh, Sam went on a snit extermination rampage. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. Now, it was awesome. Yes. Now, this is a touchy subject because whenever his name is mentioned here, you know, his lackeys go back and tell him, and he gets mad and butthurt, which is what happened during the Kyle Smith interview. You know, uh, you know, uh, Kyle Smith is talking about Snit, and uh, you know, he was talking how Snitty Snit is, and uh, you know, one of his lackeys, one of his lackeys went back to him. He joined IRC, and he went on a mental breakdown, three lines long, then quit. Um, let's see. So, either way, I know two reasons uh, why Snit was getting destroyed by Sam. 
One of them was because he made those clothes guides, which made him, you know, very polarizing. You know, on one side, everybody liked the clo clothes videos so they could follow the steps and get those clothes. But on the other side, it hurts. It seemed to hurt Sam clothes, the Sam clothes selling business. And Sam had to stop those guys. So they had to kill Snit. Um, well, but... As I told you before, that wasn't the main reason. I mean, yeah, yes. before that, uh, after that update, immediately after, General Tom discovered that you can make money using that. He and Juve, <laughs> Juve, whatever. Good. And uh, we, he made a, a thread on the forums for us with each clothing that we should buy yeah and resell for high price so yeah I, uh, well let's see the change okay um so, so yes. where was i yeah we were uh, i don't i personally i wasn't killing snit just because of that i didn't really mind i, I didn't really like him i mean he's fire c as leaking his friends as <laughs> leaking he's in game chatting just just not no it wasn't nice it was a nice player. Yeah, I found that out after a while. Um, but hold that thought, Christy Edge. Uh, since the city changed, it'll take a while for the facts to come back on the radio. So we're going to take a music break here. When we come back, we're going to have some more with Christy Edge. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back on the CNR radio. All right, welcome back, Fox. This is the CNR Radio Talk Show interview session with uh, I almost said Crazy Driver, Christy Edge. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, how can you do that? I mean, <laughs> you insulted me so hard. Yes. Fucking on, dude. I'm sorry. Fuck uh, you. <laughs> fuck you. Before we get back into the show, let's get into our sponsor, the Maibatsu Womb. She may have your balls in a vice, but that doesn't mean you have to lose everything. I'm a salesman, so I'm constantly on the road. My wife was so worried that I'd spend all my time in strip clubs rather than family picnics. That's why she got me the Maibatsu Womb. It's the Maibatsu Womb. It's the minivan any man can be proud to drive. There's a cooler for beers, plus a beautiful TV right in the dashboard so you don't miss the game. Now I can watch porn while I'm driving and masturbate on a commute to work. And there's an air horn with a pull chain so other cars know you're coming. The Maibatsu Womb. You may be married, but you're still a man. Honestly. All right, that was the Maibatsu Womb. A lot of advertisements from Maibatsu lately in this show. All right, Christy, let's continue with the, uh, <clears throat> the, the snit conversation <clears throat> before the lackeys start coming on. Uh... Wait, where did we start? <laughs> oh yes, okay. So you were you were talking about the second reason why Sam was owning Snit, and that is because of his foggy attitude. Uh, yes, yeah, s licking attitude. That's <laughs> how we called it. Because now I remember there were a ton and tons and tons of complaint topics made on Sam members, um, though. He never ever showed where he was talking snit to you guys, did he? Because he was talking snit, wasn't he? Yes, of course. <laughs> he was an ass. That's it. And and that talking snit was part of the reason why he got owned by Sam, right? Of course. <laughs> That's easy. I mean, no, even, yeah. I think, didn't we even attack Crazy Driver a few times just because of the same reason? <laughs> I see, that just I that I saw that. attitude. Is that why he stood in City Hall all day? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I know that I didn't like him either, but now he seems a cool guy. The crazy Driver? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, well, I guess uh, to an extent, maybe. Um, but you know, do you think it was the, uh, the attacks that made Snit go and, you know, get white knights, you know, so that whenever he played, he had his white knights and, uh, bodyguards to protect him. AKA admins. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
Yeah, but actually, didn't he have them before we started to attack him? I think he did. Uh, I mean, he knew them, yes, but I didn't think that they played with him before, you know, Sam started to own him. To be honest, we couldn't, we didn't really care either we were, he was playing with an admin or not. Did you really think we would care if we get disabled or 4 p.m.? <laughs> that was like being, that was something proud for us. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, you know, um... I, I mean, what else? You know, I... I Obviously, yes, the admins, yes, but, uh, you know, they, they were... They were white knighting. They were white knighting him, and, um... But, but, but I, I did... Why? I, I, but, he, but why? Why? He was, was he friendly, or was he, like, a good player? That's that's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, uh, did they think he was? I mean, maybe. Which admin um, used to play with him? I can't really remember any name, but uh, depleted in GFTW. Well, look, hmm. ask them if you find. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any reason to. Yeah, because I mean, once they started playing with him. Uh, he stopped getting the end, and uh, you know it's it's almost like uh, you know, for example, Sergic. You know, every time you see Sergic, he's always playing with another cop. You know, every time you see Mecca Wisconsin, she's always in the passenger seat. You know, so after something happens, you know, uh, you, in order to get protection, the maximum protection, you have to get your bodyguards. You know. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it means, but why would they accept? I don't know. Uh, I've, yep, I don't know. Uh, but I, I will give Sam this thing. Uh, they, they don't need bodyguards. Sam, uh, they know what to do. Of course. They know what to do. Uh, but yes. Also, um, do you remember the, uh, the, the coolest, most unique, uh, most thoughtful? most uh you know say you know i don't want to say smart but the the coolest dmh member in dmh history um, <laughs> it's very creative very creative the most creative uh dmh member in history i would go with rexter <laughs> ali was dmh yeah, rexter rexter was no, dmh but I go yeah, Rexter was, but I, I'm gonna argue, I'm gonna say why. Because uh, Rexter was that nice of a guy that he was joining Sam group, asking us for an yeah. organized tour, and then leaving and going to DMH. We were like establishing a, a place, we were waiting for DMH there, and they would come to us. It was really funny, to be honest. Those times were the best. Wait, so uh, you're saying that Rexter would, uh... He would, you know, work with Sam. Not work. He would, would work with. He would just join the our group and talk details of the work. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. Um, I see that. That's also, just like that. Good. Yes. Also, after he left the MH, he started Dot, and he was really a cool guy. But there are a lot of the MH nice guys. Bloomer and you. But that <laughs> yeah, most of them were really cool to be honest maybe except for panda was <laughs> yes panda was dmh yes Foxanus was a pain in the ass to be honest <laughs> especially that he was admin when i kind of joined in sam so i couldn't really dm him so that was bad there you got on dude um let me see now Obviously, the, the most creative person in DMH history was special, okay? Special. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't know, but... I, I used to hate him back in the days. Okay. Now, if I go back and look at it, I actually admired him because of his loyalty. He, if he would hear me saying this, he would probably make fun of me, but he was very loyal to DMH. I remember when for like one day or two days Sam and DMH got an alliance and he was yes. like the reason why that alliance stopped because he didn't like it. <laughs> so he hated us that much. I mean, nowadays you 
I'm, even uh, even in the D in Sam versus DMH era, a lot of guys were going from Sam to DMH, and okay, that's it. They were really they were really enjoying from DMH to Sam, but that, <laughs> they were changing side, and that's something not cool. Just keep your side. Come on, choose your side. Well, I am glad that uh, special helped break the alliance because <laughs> Sam and DMH being allies just does not sound right. Um, but nowadays, actually, if a lot of Sam guys would be on and a lot of DMH guys would be on, I'm pretty sure we would stay in the same group and chat. <laughs> I mean, I mean, every time I see Blumen, I usually spend like an hour just chatting with him about the old days, about life, about everything. It's just so nostalgic from time to time. Yeah, I know Blue, Blue Man is about shout out to shout out to 99 Blue Man. He's about seeing you know, all those guys in uh, Dot, the uh, the hierarchy of Dot. Uh, you guys are cool fags. You know, where is Rexter? Rexter is uh, he gone? Rexter I have is no gone. Idea. I asked Blue Man about some old guys and he had no idea about Rexter. In peace. Justus was still coming from time to time, but I don't really know about him either. Yeah, he gone too. They're all gone. Sadly, but well, they should at least visit the forums. I was also really long. I was gone for a long time, but I kept visiting the forums. They should yeah, do the it same. Was... It's not taking that much of time, like five minutes, once, one week, once a few weeks. So it shouldn't matter. Yeah, you know, it's it's not the same, you know, you you look at the forums now and it's uh, a bunch of happy birthday and uh, a bunch of J actually, Daniel autism. You know? Actually, I've <laughs> I've taken a look at the regular players list on the forums yes. and there are so many guys that I have no idea who they are <laughs> and they are regulars on the forums. I mean, back in the days it was something so exciting to be regular there. Everyone knew you, everyone. Yeah, I have no idea who these guys are. <laughs> they joined yeah. in 2015, 2016. No idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, think, you're right. <laughs> well, the thing with that is, you know, the, the regular section is so dead that, uh, you know, there, there's there's a want to have more activity there, but yeah, it doesn't true. seem to matter, you know, how much people there are added. Uh, people don't post there, you know. And, yeah, I uh, never posted there. I've just confessed my biggest sin in this in our seven. That's it. I think that's my only post in that section. Owned. Now, see, I I tried to, uh, you know, I, I was thinking of ways to try to, you know, make the regular section, you know something but I, I really can't think anything i made that topic about uh you know do you use arrow keys or wsad asd but i can't think of any ideas uh to put in that section and uh the it's it's the same thing with the entire form i mean the entire form doesn't have anything that's worth anything to watch i mean i don't know if you saw the old forums but the old forums they were very interesting to read. I mean, and now these forums are snit. I did. <laughs> I didn't have an account on the old forums, but I was around the server. I was just, I was eleven. What would you really expect me to create a forum account, <laughs> chat in English <laughs> at uh, eleven years old? He's speaking English. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, I don't know, bro, because. The thing, the reason why I bring up special is because uh, he was a master troll. He is the best troll in CNR history. His uh, topics were very funny. Special? Yes. I actually think that Beatstar, Beatstar was a better troll. Beatstar? Yeah, Beatstar is a really good troll, but... Yeah. Special, bro? I don't know. Uh, I, I might have to show you, um, you know... One of the specials topics on the old forum, but it would be 70, 80, 90 replies, and the entire topic would be troll. You know, it was <laughs> so hilarious. That's Maybe. why, you know, yeah, you know, I, I got mad when Ericon banned special a few years ago, and I also got mad when uh, uh, special got banned from the new forums 
a few years ago because she was so funny. And uh, well, she was a hilarious fag, I'll tell you that. Yeah, if you were watching from the outside, from a neutral angle, but I don't know, right? If he was like trolling you, I don't think it would be so funny for you. <laughs> oh yes, well that's 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 always the case, you know. Um, it's always the case, but you know, back then, during the old forums, I was not, I was not a DMH member. I was a DMH wannabe, but I <laughs> wasn't a our... DMH member. Uh, <laughs> always... I, I have a question for you. Why you did uh, someone just spawn out on near me? Good job, the power. Um, <laughs> uh, why didn't you never take part in any gang wars? Well, that's the thing. Um, I pretty much joined at the at the tail end of DMH's, you know, CNR gang war, you know, strong. That didn't make any sense. But I, I joined like yeah, at the yeah, end of I DMH's did. high point. You know, so yeah, I, know. Uh, I wasn't. There weren't many gang wars to be in. I was in one gang war. Okay, I was in one gang war. Uh, war? <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, we were on the LB server, and the gang war took place in Temple uh, West, just west of the Los Santos City Hall. And I drove by some guy for like ten seconds and drove away. Okay, yeah, good job. <laughs> I don't remember who I was attacking. I think the killer was there. That's all I remember. But, um, Maybe I remember Metal Face being a free kill for us, <laughs> just, just like Snoopek was to you. I love Snoopek. <laughs> yes, yeah. There's always someone in these gangs who are an easy kill. You know, uh, I guess in Sam, you know, Snoopek shot the Snoopek. He probably was an easy kill. Uh, you know, as you say, Metal Face was an easy kill. Um, you know, uh, in in. Uh, game or rep gsf hollow tips you know i actually was kind of inactive when he created his gang i was i used to fight against him but not really that much yeah you have to bow down to the russian bear bro i mean put some respect on the russian bear's name nah. <laughs> <laughs> let's see here uh screw a commercial break uh, but that that was all the uh material i had it's time yeah. to play <laughs> we'll get to questions in a bit uh, but uh let's let's play the personalized game of guess that fag but this week since we have mug christy edge the game's going to be called guess that dog guess that sam dog all right there you go oh nice christy edge will have to uh that's right. that should be in each uh, guess that fuck, <laughs> not not only tonight, right? Maybe we'll have a Sam special one day. Maybe, maybe one of the answers will be that teenage teenager guy who was an OG Sam faggot. Uh, okay. I I've seen him on the Sam subsec subsection of CNR forums. He was asking how to install how to install CNR as no, Sunlight multiplayer. Like a few weeks ago. Wow, what a noob. Uh, he's still around, that's the point. Wow, what a noob. He's played Sam before and doesn't know. What I the think fuck he has he? some kind of... No, I actually... How to use uh, SAMP with Steam, I think. Uh, oh, you, you can see that wow. section. Uh, why? It... <laughs> okay. yeah, you gotta show me that one. All right, Mug Christy Edge, it's time to play Guess That Faga. Yay. Okay, I'm sorry, Guess That Dog. All right, uh, clue number one in Guess That Dog, the Sam version. This player is a majority LB player. Give it to me. <laughs> um, let's see, Poligato. Poligato, wrong. Clue number two, I tell you. Clue number two, this player is European. Everybody in Sam's European shit. I do that. Not really, there are some Asians, some, uh, some Americans, but let's see. American gangster? American gangster, rock. 
Clue number three, this player has a character in his name that is not a letter. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Good guess. Clue number four, this player is a CNR radio DJ and usually plays house music, I think. Copolis. Uh, Copolis rock. Clue number five, this player changes the color of their words in their posts on the forum. Uh, right on that. It's that Russian drunken bastard, Diamond Kud. <laughs> diamond Kud, yes, <laughs> Diamond Kud, whatever you say his name, yes, that is correct. He uh, changes his words to blue. Do you know why he does that? No idea. No idea. He's probably he's like one of the, he's like the only person who does that. So yeah. uh, he was doing that on the same forum too. GG. So. Uh, it's good though. He, he does it in uh, light blue, which is uh, not an annoying color. Really? <laughs> <laughs> It's GG. Uh, so yeah, Diamond Cut. He's 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 a boss. He's a he's a good person. Uh, I do remember one time. It was probably in like 2010. Uh, I did have one run-in, one beef with Diamond Cut. Um, I think. See, I was a cop, right? And he accused me of stealing his plants, and I'm like, what? I didn't. He placed hit on me, too. I'm like, what? I didn't steal your plants. So you know, back then I was a bitch. You know, what I mean, uh, get a hit contract, hide inside the PD. That's what I used to do. <laughs> Some little tanks that you know. Uh, and then he he was punching me inside the uh, uh, you know L LSPD. But well, yeah. he used to have a really bad English, even on the forums. <laughs> and I think he was very easy to get the map. I mean, short tempo. Yes, for someone who posts in light blue, which is very uh, inviting, sounds very nice. Yes, he used to get uh, a yeah, but uh, now he's he's a good guy. Uh, you know that. All right, so GG, Christy Edge. Uh, we're gonna take what should be our last music break here, and we will get into the player submitted questions. Don't go away. This is the CNR Radio Talk Show. Welcome back to the CNR Radio Talk Show interview session here with Christy Edge. Show them you're still here, Christy. Edge. Oh. That's, the, that's it. That's Mug Christy Edge. Uh, we'll get into the questions in a bit, but let's listen to our sponsor, the Maibatsu Woom. She may have your balls in a vice, but that doesn't mean you have to lose everything. I'm a salesman, so I'm constantly on the road. My wife was so worried that I'd spend all my time in strip clubs rather than family picnics. That's why she got me the Maibatsu Womb. It's the Maibatsu Womb. It's the minivan any man can be proud to drive. There's a cooler for beers, plus a beautiful TV right in the dashboard so you don't miss the game. Now I can watch porn while I'm driving and masturbate on a commute to work. And there's an air horn with a pull chain so other cars know you're coming. The Maibatsu Womb. You may be married, but you're still a man. Honestly. Alright, that was the Maibatsu Womb. Alright, now to get to the questions here. Uh, also, by the way, I did say this was the last commercial break. There may be an emergency one, but we'll see about that. Uh, oh, okay, so first question here is from Vianagiv. He asked Christy Edge, uh, who is the biggest Aslikar in Sam? Nobody. We were the best. We are the best. No Aslikars. Easy. That was a bait <laughs> question. That was a bait <laughs> question. Well, he really asked me, but I was thinking of the answer, so yeah. Sam the noob. No, I'm actually serious. If it wasn't for Sam, I wouldn't have been here for so long. He's, Sam is like, not the main reason, but one of the mains. Not the only one, but yeah. Otherwise, I would have been gone of this server for so long. This community is so awful. Yeah, I guess I can respect that. Uh, shout out to Sergic who joined the server just a bit ago, the car prostitute of CNR. Hello, Sergic. <laughs> so shout out to Cassie, who is, uh, I believe, on server two, helping out with the uh, advertisement. Thank you to Cassie. Uh, okay. Uh, 
questions here from Skimmer. Number one. Oh, no. Who are your three favorite Sam members? Yes, this question. I've been thinking about an answer. Okay, the first one... Would... Well, uh, the, fir the first one would be Muppets, because he's my real-life buddy, and yeah, we joined together, we got rejected together. <laughs> <laughs> we were the same person, so yeah, he's, Muppets is gonna be the first one. But then there would be so many guys that I could mention, and they like the same. Uh, I would have chosen like to put one of them before the others if I would have met them in real life. But since I didn't meet anyone, Taki Poli, who lived like 100 kilometers away and didn't want to meet me, okay? I'm gonna place them, all of them, like Skimmer, Poli, um, well, it's a lot of guys actually. I don't want to miss anyone. Resta, General Tom. I, I, Michael is the first, but then there are a lot of guys, almost everyone, that are really great. I hope it was. A... Who? I didn't say. I didn't say Master, I said Michael's. There was a really fun story know. with Michael's back in the days. He, he used to get called, if you want to tell you, but I'm going to tell you if, you if you don't want. He used to get called Muscles, and he never <laughs> yes. liked it. But you, uh, do you know about it? Yeah, I remember I used to call him Muscles too. Yeah, but you don't know what he did. Everyone in Sam started calling him like Muscles, ne Gaza never Muscles. Um, <laughs> something like that you got with Muscles. And he got so mad that he created a thread on the forums. Um, Telling us that if we make one more joke regarding his name and we say muscles, he would quit. <laughs> and he eventually quit Sam. And he left Sam for a while. And oh. after, after a while, after a few days, he was like, oh, what have I done? I'm such a stupid faggot. And after it, it wasn't really easy for him to get back um, because Polly really didn't like that. I mean, that attitude that I want to be in, I want to leave, I want to be in, it's, it's, that's really bad. But it was really funny. If you want, I can send you the screenshots from the forums. You, could, you can have a laugh there. <laughs> yeah, we should see them. Uh, now I see that uh, uh, Mukulis really hates being called muscles. Um, I mean, he's, he's a cop now. Yeah. He doesn't care anymore, but it was funny. He was like 14 back then. <laughs> My, maybe 15, he's like two years older than me. So he wasn't that old either. Yeah, he was a good guy. Or he's, he's a good guy. Uh, let's yeah, see he's here. He's a really good guy, even in real life. Even a Sam Fag, even. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, question number two from Skimmer. Uh, this is not a question. Uh, how many times a day do you check the online house map? <laughs> well, since I've got back to this server, I've been looking to things to, for, for things to do to have fun. And buying houses and reselling them for profit was kind of fun to me. So yeah, I got the hill house, the one next to you, actually, from bank, <laughs> because <laughs> of me checking online maps so often. I don't know, I think I check it about three, four times a day. If I have time, if not, then I don't check it for a few weeks. So yeah, it just depends. Oh, I thought he was asking that question because uh, he has his own like online player list uh, thing. Uh, I actually told him to create an online map thing for mobile, but now that fact wanted. But actually, that mobile is really great. I didn't download it, but I advised to do it. <laughs> so I oh, downloaded yes. the app. Oh, yeah, I, I was meaning to do that. I keep forgetting. Um, I, I wanted to do that when I was in that guest that fog, but I forgot to. <laughs> so yeah, he's a <laughs> skimmer. I actually downloaded it. It's great. He, he, it, it took a lot of time for him, like about a few weeks. So yeah, I downloaded it. Yes, yes. Everyone uh, downloads Skimmer's uh, app on the app, the Google Play Store, uh, the, the CNR player list thing uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow 
I don't know what. No, fuck iPhones. Yes, Samsung yes, fuck iPhone. Best. Yes, yes, iPhone is a gee. Anyone who has an iPhone is a fag. Uh, Androids That's are better. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh iPhone no. is so overrated. It's so small, but like big things. <laughs> and they didn't sound right. But <laughs> So shout out to Nimpo, he said my voice is like someone eating a frog. I think the same thing sometimes. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, question number three from Skimmer. Uh, how much profit did you make so far with houses? Um, about 30 million in Los Santos. I saw like five, six houses. But I didn't sell the hill house, so if I would sell that, I would make a lot of money. Actually, right now, uh, today, I I bought a red mansion that used to belong to Lost MC Motorcycle Club. Hack it? I can't spell that name. Lost MC Club. Okay. And there we used to do some, if you remember, if you have a new, um, Russian roulette games. Do you know about them? Russian roulette? I know what it, I know what it is, but I don't, haven't played. We used to pick up random guys, drive them in our mansion, get them if you know that interior red interior in that bar lock them there if and if they would lose dice or i don't know we would have killed them <laughs> so yeah it was kind of funny so i bought the house just for the nostalgia and i'm gonna sell it <laughs> well it is it is a good idea to buy and sell houses yes it really is and it's it's kind of funny for me it's funny to advert these uh, was using me to spam the chat and then to answer PMs and then to show them and to argue about the price eventually to to get robbed <laughs> in the process and him living away Vigano, if you chicken him, wanted to kidnap me <laughs> he wanted to kidnap me <laughs> so yeah, he was interested in my house and then he was like I entered my car I, I want to show you my house so we can compare stuff I was now I'm gonna surf and what he did he went to that uh, Verona beach in Los Santos with high speed and he was like trying to get um, the car into the, um, the water and me there. But now I jumped and killed him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there was a cut. But, but it was self-defense. He attacked me. So yeah, it's okay. Fucking destroyed. And Figano just died. Rip Figano. Oh, rip in peace. That is dead. Uh, so shout out to Pioneer. He's like... Because uh, Pioneer got... On the forums, he uh, sped up his video by accident. Uh, people are calling him cheater. Uh, Pioneer is not a cheater in 2017. Okay, so don't call him a cheater. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, question number four from Skimmer: When will you learn to drive in Samp? Never. <laughs> I was always a bad driver, <laughs> like always. <laughs> Even in mini missions, I couldn't race for shit. I I could race with the Fagio if you remember that race around Prickle Pine. I was good at that, but other than that, I sucked. I can't drive now. I could never drive. I, that, this is one of the problems that you mentioned in the Cusa area, right? Oh, yes, the, oh, yes, the driving thing, yes, because uh, nobody in Cusa know how to drive. Yeah, one of them was me, but I could try, but nah. I, I'm, sometimes I'm actually too lazy to drive because I just like typing in chat and talking to people. <laughs> and, well, I could do that too, but the guys that are in the passenger seats, seats would get mad on me. So yeah, I prefer to stay on the passenger and shoot. If I remember to shoot, yeah. Yeah, as long as you can, you know, uh, drive and, I'm sorry, shoot and talk at the same time, which some people can't do, uh, then you're fine. Uh, much. Most of most of the times I can, but not not all of them. <laughs> Fucking owned. Let's see here. And last question from Skimmer. Uh, how would you describe Skimmer in three words? This is another hard question. I've been thinking about it and still didn't find an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say what comes to my mind right now. Um, what would it be? A great friend. That's what I I would say. He's really a nice guy. Even though when he first applied to Sam, <laughs> I voted no on him. <laughs> yeah, he showed me a few days ago. I, I couldn't, I didn't remember me doing that. I even had like, I was saying like, no, I don't want this returned in. Fuck him. 
<laughs> I was like very hardcore on him. <laughs> it's true. Uh, uh, when he joined, he couldn't really speak English. It was like so <laughs> bad. Now he really got improved a lot. That's true. Uh, if you do a before and after comparison of a lot of Europeans on the server, including myself, a few years ago. <laughs> And now, yeah, their English is much different. Uh, Actually, back when I was in you, with you in Mambo and all kind of this stuff, I most many of the times I couldn't understand what you were saying. It was very <laughs> hard to communicate with you either. <laughs> so yeah, language is actually a problem. And right now I'm studying English literature and grammar. So yeah, <laughs> how funny life is. How about that? Very easy. Okay. Uh, about that emergency break that I was talking about, we're going to have the emergency break. This will be the last break of the show. Uh, we'll be right back on the CNR Radio Talk Show interview session with Christy Edge. Right, welcome back to the CNR Radio Talk Show interview session uh, with your host, Rishan, and uh, your guest, Christy Edge. Hey, hey I'm still alive. Yep, he's still alive. Uh, let us listen to the sponsor of my Batsu Womb. So she think? may have your balls in a vice, but that doesn't mean you have to lose everything. I'm a salesman, so I'm constantly on the road. My wife was so worried that I'd spend all my time in strip clubs rather than family picnics. That's why she got me the my Batsu Womb. It's the minivan any man can be proud to drive. There's a cooler for beers, plus a beautiful TV right in the dashboard so you don't miss the game. Now I can watch porn while I'm driving and masturbate on a commute to work. And there's an air horn with a pull chain so other cars know you're coming. The Maibatsu Womb. You may be married, but you're still a man. Honestly. We'll get you in the end, it's the Maibatsu Womb. Alright, that was the Maibatsu Womb. All right, Christy, as let's go to Alexander Yo Yo Yo's questions. Um, first from him is Will you buy Jefferson House on Los Santos? Easily worth 25 million. Special price for you, 15 million. Well, that, that's a good deal. He's actually asking me that because that's the house that i told him to buy because it was from sale by bank and i was like yeah you buy it i have or i already have to i couldn't resell but he's asking me this also because he was like the sucker to buy one of my houses one that didn't have any car safe didn't have anything but he bought it and i keep spamming him every time i see him to buy my houses but he won't anymore that fact so yeah i wouldn't buy his house oh so he lost his chance huh yeah, that's right. Because he, because he got a plane right before the show. That fact on Steam, I mean. Wow, Alexander, you got on, dude. I'm sorry yeah. to say. Actually, uh, no, actually, jokes apart, he's a very really good guy. He's always been, even before, <laughs> even, even before being an admin, ever he used. To be no, I'm <laughs> serious. A lot of my old guys are now ad my old friends are now admins. So that's true. Funny. That is true. Uh, I was gonna say something. I forgot what it was. Um, About James being a fag, maybe. Oh yes, yes, James. He is a fag. You know, uh, breaking into town hall, breaking into town hall to try to get Catalonia. What is it called? Catalonia to not oh, be yeah. independent. I mean, you know, what a new movie. He should be in jail. Actually, I mean, uh, what was his point of view on that? Uh, oh, um, he does not want uh, Catalonia to be independent. To be honest, I don't either. <laughs> it shouldn't be independent. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You know, I don't. Under I don't know the politics of this at all. Um, oh, I just read on Wikipedia that uh, in October, it is October that uh that is the time that it'll be finalized that it'll be independent uh and fags are fighting each other and all that for to, to fight for non-independence so it's like kosovo it, it's a country that doesn't <laughs> exist basically I, i'm serious I'm, I'm after, actually after i after saying this uh, every albanian on the server will attack me but uh, kosovo is serbia is serbia 
possible. So Kosovo should be Serbia, not Albania. Yes. I wonder what Edison Mamedi thinks. He's from Kosovo. Uh, I don't know if he alleges with uh, Kosovo or Al I'm sorry, Serbia or Albania, but Probably I don't Albania. know. <laughs> See, messed up Smiley. Whenever messed up Smiley wants to troll, he always talks about Kosovo, and uh, all the Albanians in the server will start getting mad. Actually, and there's <laughs> there's gonna be a football game between Partizan, a Serbian team, and uh, Flamurtari or something, an Albanian team. I'm really curious on what's gonna happen in that game. I mean, I'm pretty sure there will be blood <laughs> in the in the stadium. Oh yes, yes. Uh, the the ratings are gonna be very high. Yeah, when the drawing took place, I was like, yay, finally, for a blood match. <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, Serbia versus Albania with the drone. Yes, indeed. A huge <laughs> scandal. I, it's actually funny that, I don't know if you follow football, but I probably sure you don't. Uh, U UEFA, UEFA, whatever, banned uh, Ukraine and Russia from being the same group and playing each other. <laughs> but they didn't ban Albania and Serbia. I mean, okay. Where's the logic? Um, I don't know. Maybe, I, I guess, because, uh, oh, we're in peace to Inferno, we just got disabled. But, um, maybe because, you know, the Ukraine, Russia things are going on right now. And, uh, you know, Is I'm it? not, um, well, I mean, it happened. The, the Ukraine crisis thing, whatever it was, you know, it was that two years ago, I think. Still pretty fresh. Yeah, while. Well, I actually, oh, I really hope that Chibugi is still alive, to be honest, because he disappeared right when that crisis happened, and he was living in Kiev. So I hope he's still alive. <laughs> you know? Maybe he uh, he's fighting for his country right now. Uh, uh, there's not more, no more fighting, I think. I don't know, because uh, whenever you see the Serbia Albania thing. Uh... You, you now it seems just to be all talk and uh you know all snit talk uh they haven't i don't think there's been an invasion or whatever in a you know a while uh, i don't know anything about the yugoslavia breakup and if albania was a part of that even though albania was not part of yugoslavia right but uh i don't i don't think i but i'm but, not sure sure but i don't think albania was part um, well, that was like 20 years ago, right? So maybe by now. Yeah, but the Balkanic people are very, how to say, it, they are ready to fight for their country at, at no time, basically. They that really love true. their country. So. Hmm? That's true. Yeah, they would fight the neighbor countries to protect theirs. You know. mm, yeah, but yeah, I think so. actually Serbs and Croatian do they like each other? I mean, <laughs> Serb or uh, like Serb and Croatian? I, I think they they do like each other. Yes, uh, at least I don't know like in real life, but in in the server they like each other. You know, it's as if they're still one united country. The way they they like each other, Serbia and Croatia in this yeah. city. I'm sorry, yeah. in this game. So. Yeah, but still Albanians are the worst, but the Romanians are quite are quite close. Actually, recently I've met a gang, a group of people of Romanians, all of them having aimbots, playing on uh, oh, the dog is barking, okay, uh, playing on uh, zero days account. I was I was like uh, trying to complete a hit on a guy that had zero days alive, and out of sudden a lot of guys aimbot came at me, <laughs> and I and I. Then I tried to complete a hit on another guy. He quit to avoid. And, oh. <laughs> and a few hours ago, he one of them PM'd me asking for one versus one. Because I... I... By what... Their honor, I... Whatever. So yeah, they wanted to challenge me to a fight. I mean, how lame is that? He wants right leg. <laughs> no, it's the right leg. Yeah. They, they don't <laughs> even know about the right leg. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but it's quite sad. I mean, I know Romanians are usually usually retards on games. They are like so salty and stuff. But yes. I've never seen a Romanian gang full of retards like this one. I, I, they keep asking me, who am I? Why am I <laughs> attacking them? Well, it's, a lot of guys actually started asking me, who am I? A lot of these new fact DMers. So that's pretty it's pretty much quite, how it is. Yeah, it's quite sad, to be honest. Yeah, Q, Q, player Q and Ben just joined. I want to say that that guy was a really nice, good fighter. And a really nice guy who didn't cheat, who didn't bug abuse that much. So yeah, hey, player Q and Ben. I just timed out. Oh, yeah. Shout out to <laughs> player Q, uh, who just timed out. Uh, shout out to that guy. Shout out to Yenigiv, who said uh, Slovenians don't like Croatians. Hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't that. that. We don't. We as Romanians don't really like Hungarians. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't, I've been living in a place full of Hungarians. I, when I was younger, I was a bit more racist, but now I'm just fine with them. They're also humans. <laughs> so, yeah. yep. Plus, they're they're not going to invade the country anyway. So, they're no, fine. but they want they want Transylvania. So no, we're not going to give that. It's ours. And it's always be. If you have to keep the border secure and uh, keep that in. Of uh, so shout out to Tommy. Uh, he is a fight and he got banned over the weekend. So uh, his ass team position is in danger. Fake Tommy, though. <laughs> There's Fake only Tommy. one Tommy. That was the Sam man. Oh, that's the Sam Tommy. Yes, the, the Sam yeah. Tommy. That guy was also. The... That guy never took part in a gang war, if I remember correctly. Maybe that's why he got admin. <laughs> but there were. But... There were not a lot of uh, same guys that never took part of, in gang wars. Yes, the same Tommy was a nice, was a nice Tommy. Uh, it's a cool Tommy. Tell you that. Yeah, he still is. He knows Libukas in real life. If you remember Libukas, do you? Yes, I remember Libukas. Yes, he was uh, one of the most frequent posters in the Ukraine crisis topic. Maybe, but it was really funny and weird at some point. It was like. I used to call him Purjus. I googled it and it's drunk in Estonian. <laughs> he was like every day getting drunk and stuff. It was funny. Was chatting, with him <laughs> on, uh, chatting with him on IRC in my issues channel, my you, my Jew, yes. however you pronounce it. I still don't know. Mayu. I think I think it's Mayu, yeah. I remember her joining in Mamba and telling us that once. Probably has alcohol poisoning now. Dibugas, maybe. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> Fucking old. Let's see here. Uh, Alexander's second question we already talked about. Um, so, last question from Alexander. He asks, what is your favorite skill in CNR? Hmm. To be honest, I've kind of tried everything. And what's... I, sh I think I should choose Hitman because I won the best Hitman award in 2012. Totally deserved, right? Oh yes, I remember that. Yes, <laughs> Christy Edge won best Hitman 2012. No, Even but, though uh, that was 85% Sam vote, right? Maybe more, but yeah. <laughs> Sam, Sam vote and guys that I was cool with, but not Sam. So yeah, but favorite skill. I don't know, the favorite skill I would say that is the one that I have the most fun playing with. So I would say Kidnapper. <laughs> kidnapper. Definitely not gonna be in your, uh, uh, definitely not gonna be in your car, Faggy. Or Eric Hunt's car, he's a kidnapper too. No, he's a rapist, a uh, drug dealer now. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yes, I, I'm serious. Why would I be? <clears throat> Actually, I, actually, I'm a hitman now, and a real hitman. I've completed 22 hits somehow. I don't know how, but... What a noob. Only 22 hits since the reset. What a noob. <laughs> I've, I've been playing this for one month. Not even that since I came back. I don't really remember when was the reset. I had like 10 days alive. Now I have 300, so talk about my life. It's been a few, a few years since the uh, life reset. I don't I remember. Just, it's been a few years since I was away. So, yeah, I was away for a few years. So, yeah. Fucking old. Let's see here. Question by Evangelist here. That's a uh, good question. 
Okay, give me a second. I just messed up my sample window. Uh, okay, so he says, uh, name one good player and one bad player from the past and compare their compare them to a good and bad player now. Like, uh, you know, I don't know how to explain it. You understand it, do you? Uh, it's quite a difficult question. I would say the players are quite different. Even the bad ones that were bad back in the days are now kind of good compared to what's not. But to give some names, bad, who would be bad? I don't know, I'm gonna say or maybe special or maybe <laughs> CCF, if you remember that guy. Yeah, it actually was a funny cheater. And now who would be bad? I, mean, I can't, I can't. Um, not crazy that one. He's minding his own business, but these Albanians, I I don't know. Vigano maybe would be the bad because I know his name and uh, Lockup boy I see in the chat is also terrible. And a good player, hmm. maybe Stupek, Stupek. I mean, he was always that kind of guy to. Never, he was taking part in gang wars, but he wasn't like arguing in chat, talk, talking shit. Bug abusing, he was never bug abusing. So yeah, he was kind of a good player. And I think... I, to... mm, say. I think uh, if you were to compare special, you know, past player is special to a current player now, it has to be a nice troll, a good troll. Um, I would say Tanner, but... Mm. Because everyone says he's a troll. Um, but Actually, yeah, I guess you could say Tanner, yeah. I mean... Honestly, I I see right through Tanner's trolling, but people don't seem to understand his troll, you know. Um, but you know, nobody can be as good of a troll as Special was. Say that. Mm, I'm sure if you read trolling, Tanner, I mean, if you apply to Sam, I don't know if you know that or not. He made an application like a few weeks ago. Hey? He got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in chat if I before getting rejected. It was like if I'm getting if I'm gonna get rejected by Sam, the next gang I'm gonna apply for is DMH. Okay. I was like, okay, good luck. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that you guys denied him because I can't think of Tanner as a Sam member. I, yeah, be it's, it's terrible. I, I said no too. I don't know if he saw the answer because I was like one of the last guys to uh, to reply, but I said no. Hold it. Fucking hold it. Let's see and, here. Oh, go ahead. And, and maybe, I don't know, Special wouldn't be like a really bad player back in the days because he, was, he wasn't cheating after all. The really bad one would be Ghost Peak or Rose. Do you remember Rose, that Korean guy? Yes. <laughs> like I the remember. only Korean player on the server. <laughs> The one and only. But did I mention uh, the good player from nowadays? Uh, Snoopak? Nowadays? Oh, from um, now? Oh, from the back. Yeah. I don't think so. Who would it be actually? Yeah, uh, who, 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 is, who is the Snoopak of today? I would say Harry, but he's, mm, he's far from Snoopak. Snoopak was never really playing with admins, he was never in social stuff. I don't know who would be. <laughs> I think it would be Snorkel. If you know Snorkel. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's true. Snorkel would really be. Uh, Snorkel used to take part a lot of Yang Wars. <laughs> you know, I used to fight against him a lot, but he was he was a cool guy back then, a cool enemy. And even now he's a great guy. Yeah, Snorkel, yeah, he's a boss. Um, Maybe eventually since he asked the question, but yeah. To be honest, I can't really remember him from back in the day, in the days. Maybe because he was an SF player. That's true. Um, I don't remember. Like I know Snorkel's played for a while. I don't really remember him because I used to always confuse him with Skimmer. Mm. And I would I would used to think I used to think Snorkel was Skimmer, but uh, no. wrong. Snorkel was always using that Mafia Hitman. Key. It was really easy to recognize. <laughs> I, I forgot. Let's see here. Uh, question from the uh, CNR 
I'm sorry, the Albanian ambassador to the CNR, uh, who asks the same question every week. Uh, what is your opinion on Albanians? Do you like or hate them? <laughs> Do you like or I hate like, them? I've already said it. I can count on my fingers the the Albanians that are cool. I mean, it's him. He, I, he looks cool. I don't really know him. And there was another guy in mini missions. If you, know, I don't think you, you know him. It was Fatan. Do you? Um, no, I don't remember that name. Well, he was Albanian, but uh, he got to CNR. He, he was like uh, a lot of us, you know, were ends there, and we're like, no, no. Uh, well, Fatan. And so we were. Oh yes, there. yes, yes. I know him. Yes, yes. Fatan. Yes. yes. Yeah, we were like telling him that. Albanians are so retarded, and I was like, why? <laughs> so then he joined CNR and figured it out why. There you go. But as I said, uh, Albanian is also bad. So. It's all true. Let's see here. Uh, question from Vedzo. What happened with many missions? Oh, this subject. <laughs> Nothing happened, it's still there. You can still ah. play, you know. I'm not gonna tell IP for obvious reasons. I also don't know it, but still. What happened? Well, um, well... From where should we begin? When Future sold the server to Kyle Smith? Well, actually before that I think we should start. When Future decided to take back and give the server to Vince, if you remember. Vince oh yes, numbers. yes I remember, yeah. And Vince was so slow on updating the server. He was a great scripter, a great guy, but it was so slow for him to up to upload. After like six months, Future came back. And Future, if you remember him, he used to be a really funny guy. He used to do a lot of fun stuff, but he got bored of this game. That was it for it for him. So he sold the server to Kyle Smith. And Kyle Smith, I'm pretty sure <laughs> Kyle just uh, and in, before I got retired, and when he sold the server to Kazmit, I came back and tried to help him. And to figure out that he was just trying to make a profit, I think. I mean, I'm not sure if it's true, but I'm pretty sure he made some money on the deal. Yes. I think, I, saw him say, I think he said that on IRC one day, yeah. I asked him about that, yeah, so he did, yeah. Yeah, so Burmix got over, they changed forms, I was too lazy to to make an... I, I made an account, but I was too lazy to keep visiting them. But Mini Missions was great. The community was awesome. I mean, it's far from CNR, like, it used to be years of light ahead. It was, it maybe I don't know, maybe it was because I was admin and people were being nice to me, but even if I would be admin in CNR, people wouldn't be nice to me. So yeah, it was a really great server, don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, like I said, uh, the mini missions player base, uh, a lot of nice people I'm through the years. In, yes. I'm still in contact with a few of them on, on Facebook. <laughs> was Ali a player there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, but serious, oh. there were like who were admin there? Me, you, was Octavia admin for a while? Like in version yes, one, Octa Octavia one. was an admin there. Uh, she got demoted by Albi because of yeah. the incident. <laughs> yeah, I'll, that Albi guy. Yeah, Snoopy just said that he used to play mini missions a bit. Yeah, fuck you. I, yeah, so where was I? <laughs> uh, where was I? <laughs> I don't know, you were gone. But yeah. Uh, uh, seriously, what, what I wanted to say? I have no idea. But you know, but oh, who were the, the enemies that used to play here? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, 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 it was about Albi. Oh, Albi, alien guy, yeah, yeah, he's the one that demoted Octavia. Yeah, it was deserved. Octavia was doing <laughs> nothing there, to be honest. I never really liked her on CNR, I didn't like her there either. But Albi was so there were two owners, Albi and Future. I'll be in Future, yeah. Yeah, Albi was like the guy scripting, being serious, telling, ad slapping admins on IRC to get in game and ban cheaters. It's like really strict, obedient or something like that. Future was like the funny guy. You, you could joke with him, you could troll. But actually, I kind of missed Albi 
after Future Gut alone. I mean, he was really good there, also as a scripter, but also as a as a as an armor. Yeah, I haven't seen LB in probably since he quit. Um, Same, about five, six years, maybe more. And yeah, Future, he was a funny guy, especially because he looked like Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of CNR guys look like Justin Bieber. Okay. Do you remember one? Let's see. Let's test your memory. Um, Trainee Clef? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Any, uh, Trouble Clef? Trainee Clef? I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't remember. Oh, no, the, the old guy is not this guy. No, thanks. I don't remember anybody else that looks like Bieber. I know there 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 are people, but I forget. I don't know if they look now, but Cop Police was definitely a copy of Justin Bieber. <laughs> old. Also, someone else. Fuck, I got the name. Sites 101. He was also Justin <laughs> Bieber. <laughs> if you remember that guy, that Romanian that lives in USA. Yes, the guy with the uh, Playboy avatar, yes. Yes, this bunny avatar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This uh, these avatars are so emblematic. You recognize the people by it. I mean, I haven't exactly. changed mine since I joined the forums. And yes, I'm the not guy. Do it. The, the, the pipe. Yes. I, you, I actually found that image just by searching on Google "old man smoking pipe," <laughs> and that's how I found it. I, don't ask me why I was searching that, but <laughs> yeah, it happened. I have no idea. But there it is. Uh, but yes, uh, mini missions is uh, it's not dead, but uh, that faggot bear mix owns there's, it now. He now yeah, owns there's that. Still f there still are a few guys that try that are trying to revive the server. Like no, I don't think you know him, but Sasuke Uchi, Sasuke Uchi. Oh, so yes, know. that guy. Yeah, he's actually a nice guy. He's playing CNR from time to time, but he's really trying to make the server work. He, yeah, he he, he uh, is a or was a mini games admin. Yeah, I think I there are still a few admins from the later mini missions that are still there. I think Hanaki is still there. Uh, Rices is still there, but I have to look at their form. Uh, I don't remember. Most of them quit. Yeah, yeah. Most of them quit. They quit. Yeah. yeah. Fucking mm -hmm. destroyed. What do you say, Ali? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, there were a lot of CNR guys there being and me, you, Chyla boy, um, Tinus, Thief, and Thief got to CNR after he met us on mini missions and joined Sam afterwards. Hey. Who else was there? Cop Lopper played for a bit. Yeah, Cop Lopper, that guy, that train guy, do you remember him just? waiting for a train to go past him and he would uh, make a video of it and upload to YouTube. Do you know that? Australian? No, he was uh, from Holland, Netherlands. Uh, oh, uh, the, uh, the weird name guy, uh, Blinker or something? No, 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 no Koploper. Oh, yeah, I said, I, I said his name, Faggy, yeah. Top yeah, one. I was saying that he was uh, making videos of trains and uploading on YouTube and having a lot of views. But, I don't know, of I trains? Just yeah, trains? Yeah, trains. Yeah, trains passing by him. And that got a lot of views? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you should... Uh, I, think, I think it was like a proper train or something, the, the channel. Like the search. Oh. Yeah, also you mentioned with Blinker G. This guy yes. was really awesome. He was so nice to everyone. He was like, what are, I was like, what are you doing on the internet with that kind of attitude? <laughs> but no, he was a really great guy. Too bad I kind of lost every contact with him. Yeah, he was a boss, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> be, man. Oh, no, a, lot, a lot of guys, I would have loved to have a lot of these guys on Facebook or something, but they just didn't want to make it public, but not in public, just a few guys. I don't really get why, but still. Yeah, you know, um, I didn't keep contact with them because I I assumed that, you know, the Kyle Smith regime would last longer and that forum would last longer. 
because now the minigames form is kind of stupid with two different servers on one form. It's kind of weird and people yeah, have left it already. So. It is. Well, for example, with some other guys like Chala Boy, I still have contacts. I have him, you know, I have him on Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> he's really a great guy. It's Chala Boy. He's the bodybuilder, right? Yes, he's so <laughs> far. He's, he's short, just like me, but with a lot of muscles. Yeah. He uh, yeah, took so a page out of uh, the Unknown Soldier's workout book. Because um, the, un the Unknown Soldier is uh, ripped too. Uh, I have actually never seen a picture of him. Did he post? I don't think so, but he... Uh, I think there's a workout topic on the forum somewhere. Yeah, and, there is. Uh, he posts there a lot. Yeah, I wasn't reading that, but <laughs> I, from the, for the last like four or five years, I've been telling myself that yeah, I, I, you should you should start working out. You should get muscle. It's sad. Yeah, I, I've never done. It. That's so, yeah, shame, shame on me. Because you got to do it all day, every day, and uh, you uh, can't eat snitty things, pretty much at all well I, i'm thick i'm not fat or something but, <laughs> but yeah but here's the thing uh in my thoughts at least, you know if you're not john you're fine <laughs> you're <laughs> fine. yeah maybe john but who else <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here all right also, so also, Stefan was an admin there, if you remember Stefan yeah, B. Stefan B, yeah, he was an admin there too. He has a lot of, uh, a few kids now. So it's, <laughs> it's actually nice how life goes. Oh, yes, yeah, so I remember when he uh, said, Oh, I got a. getting a kid. No, I don't remember how long ago that was, but yeah. That was pretty, that was pretty cool right there. Yeah, Shout out to Giants, Kuzu versus Sam, we already talked about that, faggot. Mm, yeah, why not? Well, uh, at first, guys in Sam didn't really like me joining Kusa. I dressed up as why he used to stop ass leaking and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, eventually, when Kusa started hating Sam back, I kind of didn't like that. I was like, when should I leave Kusa? <laughs> because Sam is more important. Especially on that, because Sam, Sam is my life. <laughs> But no, they were, they were, they didn't like me being there, that's true. Well, from Dredsta, that is expected, uh, especially because Dredsta used aimbot. Yes, Dredsta used aimbot. Uh, yeah, maybe, but I don't know, I still am a friend of mine. I mean, I've been playing with him CSGO a lot, a lot, very much. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> It's a shame that he used aimbot, but to be honest, I if you didn't say, I wouldn't remember. I never remember. <laughs> Wait, so Dredd's is still around? He still plays CS joke? Um, he's still around Steam. I think he's, he's back. He keeps disappearing for a period of time. Usually, having his car crashed, him being drunk, while having <laughs> the car crashed, him almost getting sent to jail. From what he told me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Good. he's still around, hopefully, for long. My goodness, what a noob. Actually, there were some same guys that went to jail. Can, well, you, guess, so, can you guess who? Uh, recognize. Uh, no, but... Actually, oh yeah, I Sadiq, think... yeah, that's right. Uh, Wait, actually, was Sadiq in Sam? Yes, he was, but I oh, don't God. really know about Sadiq. Why, would, <laughs> why is he in jail? I wasn't thinking about him. Uh, dealing drugs, I think. Right, Ali dealing drugs. That's oh. interesting. <laughs> but no, I wasn't thinking about Sadiq. I was thinking about Shocker and Advanced, if you remember them. They were yeah, really old they, Yeah, those are DM faggots. Uh, they, they've been to jail, huh? Uh, sh yes. One of them, or maybe both, I can't remember. They got in a fight and it really went, got really bad. The Romanians that live in Belgium, as far as I remember, they got in a fight and got in jail. It's kind of <laughs> messed up. <laughs> so, so they both went to jail at the same time. 
I'm not really sure, but one of them surely went to jail. I think it was Shocker. Let's see here. Uh, let's go to the next question here. Uh, there is an anonymous question here. An anonymous question. It is asked, someone who is not Ali asked if you would give Ali a free house in LB. Free house? Free house to Ali. Ali didn't ask the question, but... Uh, Definitely, he didn't. <laughs> I, I actually only have one. I actually only have one vehicle pine mentioned here. I'm not really buying and reselling houses here, so no, get lost. <laughs> and Maybe the thing I, is, good. I I was just go going to say that I should visit the house. Let's say what. Yeah, you're in LB right now. You should. You know, but the thing is, you know, Ali, you know, he always talks about LB, LB this, LB that, LB best city. But he doesn't have a house? What the fuck's wrong with this guy? What a noob, man. What a fucking noob. What a fucking noob. It's been three... It's been like three years since the last reset. Ali's an LB player and Ali doesn't have a house. What a fucking noob. Uh, excuses, 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 Ali. You're a fat guy. Yeah, yeah. Not even a lot of win new Vegas. Yeah, it's Let's see. But, but no, it's it actually it's quite sad that houses don't work are not worth that much anymore. I mean pre I bought this Pricker Pine mansion for just like 13 millions. Back in the days they were like for 50 millions and above. I don't know why prices got so down. It's quite sad to be honest. I have no idea. Uh, for, for for fear of getting scammed, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, maybe. Everyone hates me, so... <laughs> yeah, Ali just said, Christy, just the reason why the uh, house market has gone down. What a noob, I tell you. If the house market's gone down so much, Ali should have a house right now, because the houses are cheap. What a noob. Yeah, go buy one. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, Actually, Jane said something in chat a few minutes ago about, about Salmon, the, the salmon Alliance. Alliance gay. Yeah. That, was that, that was pretty gay. That was, was that actually about? like one of the biggest history moments of CNR, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Do, do, do you remember how it went before I start saying? Um, no, because I just saw it one day. I thought it was gay. <laughs> Well, it was some DMH uh, guys, like Exit, starting a beef with Kaza, if I remember correctly. And they were like, some guys wanted to help Exit, and some others that didn't want. And it was like, I remember a war in LK Brothers, and DMH was fighting against Gaza, and against, DM and against DMH, so yeah. And we, Sam, were watching from a helicopter. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Fucking destroyed. Yeah, but pretty much Exit and Blumen and Justice were the reason why Dot got created. Um, so it, it took us so long. <laughs> but didn't Sam ally with Gaza? Um, I think before I joined, when Gaza was first was first made, was first created. I wasn't a member of Sam when Gaza and Sam was were allied. Let's see here. Uh, world has questions here. One number one we talked about. Uh, number two, have you ever held a weapon <laughs> a weapon in real life? Uh, a real one? Nope. Not really. I, I'm not living in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy to get guns here. Well, you've got a I point. Mean, I use some of those where at the festivals where you have to shoot at a target, but I don't think that is a, that's not a real gun, so yeah. Fucking destroyed. I could not hit shit. I had a digger. It would look, look like a digger and I had to hit a... a like, like when you play darts. Yes. And I, was, I missed every single bullet. What a noob. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I mean, I would too, so... Oh well. Well, you're not a true American, then. <laughs> <laughs> I am, uh... I am... 2% American, for sure. 
Well, have you held a gun? Uh, no, I have not held a real gun before, though. What about you, Ali? <laughs> Has Ali held a real gun? Probably not. But Ali's never held a gun before. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, question three from Borald. What was your role in Sam? Are roles and ranks really enforced? Or not really? Um, back in the days, it kind of mattered if you were a leader. I was like the third guy, right below, uh, at some point, right below Polly or Snoopek, who I don't remember who was Don, and Mark of Croatia, I think, was the co leader. I was like after them. So, yeah, I was kind of the important person there, one of the bosses. But right now, it doesn't really matter if Polly joins, everyone knows he's the leader, if Snoopek joins, everyone knows he's the boss. If I join, everyone respects me and stuff like that. If Polygyle joins, everyone knows he'll get disabled. Oh, Polly's a good <laughs> guy. That fact keeps playing CSGO and all kinds of games all day and doesn't want to come to CNR, I don't know why. Uh, well, he's having fun. Um, yeah, he's having fun. Uh, anyway, it's like global or something. When I used to play with him a few years ago, he was global. That's, that's he, he clear aimbot. Yeah, he was scaring me. <laughs> clear aimbot. Right, let's see here. Um, and last question from Borel. Good question. Why is it that these people stereotype Romanians as wallet stealers and not vampires? Uh, the vampire... It's cut off. The vampire thing was way cooler. Um, we actually get both of them. But the wallet, wallet stealer is because of the gypsies that go in all around the Europe. I hate them personally. <laughs> no, I'm actually serious now. I hate gypsies pretty much. I Actually, I moved to a new place and there are gypsies around here that live like they shouldn't live here. They filthy. They, are, they have a lot of garbage. It's basically you can get infected. So there are a lot of rats. <laughs> yeah. uh, they made us look bad in the Europe. I mean, there are a lot of Romanians that when they're at work and just <clears throat> to get a good living because there are better salaries. So yeah, it's understandable to want to make more money. Oh. But yeah, gypsies are the cause why people think we are wallet thieves. Of course, there are also some Romanians, but most of them are gypsies. Not all of the gypsies are thieves, but a really huge percent of them are. And I know because my parents have actually my family, my parents have a business and a shop, and a lot of gypsies and Romanians have tried stealing from there, even succeeded. Oh, no. It's quite sad to be honest, but I'm pretty sure it happens everywhere. Doesn't it? That's true. Yeah. It does happen everywhere. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. So pretty much. Uh, not good to stereotype kids yeah oh, yeah that's a vampire thing right? actually it's funny that because uh the vecula guy is believed to be uh vlad Tepes. and i'm pretty sure you never heard of him he okay. was the vampire but he was very cruel to his enemies to the turks to the ottomans they would like make traps and have spears in the ground and if people would fall on the trap, they would just get in the spear. So yeah, that's where it, <laughs> ca it came from. And the Dracula novel by that guy, I can't remember the name, is basically a fiction. <laughs> I, I visited the Dracula castle, for me it wasn't that impressive. But for others, for the foreigners, might be, might be better. It sounds like someone trying to, uh, you know, catch a bear to eat or something. Uh, <laughs> fucking old. All right, let's see here. Uh, and here, this is the final question, right? Yeah, I think this is the final question oh. of the interview. Uh, it is from Ali. Who is your CNR crush? Hmm? CNR crush. <laughs> CNR secret crush. Well, uh, not mine, but uh, maybe I say my, I will try to 
to think about one, but first I'm gonna say Maka's crush, Maka's CNR crush. <laughs> it was Mayu. It was Mayu. Mayu. <laughs> yeah, he even don't... Yes, but he even downloaded her phone, or uh, her picture on his phone, and was like having it as a paper, the wallpaper or something. <laughs> yeah, well. But so crush... Mukles did it. Yes, Marcus, Mukles. Never <laughs> Marcus. Actually, you know what Marcus means? Marcus is a gypsy word that means shut up. <laughs> <laughs> on the fucking on. That was my crush. I, I never really had one, to be honest. Maybe Chila Boy. <laughs> Chila <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Yeah, but well, mostly because he's short like me and he has muscles which I wanted to have but never did. <laughs> Maybe that's why. No, I wasn't really a stalker of these girls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, keep it that way. Keep it that way for sure. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. Eventually, some faggot, like a whole bunch of faggots right now, are uh, gonna talk snit and, uh, you know sets you up or uh make rumors about you like they do to me Shit. <laughs> what rumors do they do to you um well well the latest rumor is that uh me and sheila are uh you know but you know because if, if you if you look at the cnr pictures thread right uh, there is a there is a player PMing Sheila. Are you Rashan GF? And I'm like, where did this come from? <laughs> what <laughs> where did this come from? I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's the latest thing. Since the CNR awards are so close, I feel like a lot of people are gonna troll vote for me and Sheila for CNR couple. And, uh, <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh good yeah you just gave these two ideas oh yeah also thanks for reminding about the cnr awards i'm gonna make a three dance and forums and win everything again so that good. Should... <laughs> actually wouldn't it be fun if i were to win the best hitman again me not being a hitman <laughs> yes that would be funny actually be here. the uh, announcements Oh, that would be nice. Fucking owned. All right. Well, I think that is it. Um, I, I'm sorry that we had to finish the sh show on that. <laughs> nice job, Ali, for making that question the final question of the show. It seems like we always end on an awkward note there. Um, yes. Okay. So uh, next, next. Next week we're gonna have Draw Her Seven as a guest, which may be insightful or may be autistic. I don't know. Um, can he speak English? Yes, he can speak English. Yes, um, and if not, then I'm sure Mosin will be his translator. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, make sure that. As you all watch the last rate my chases run best girl evangelist versus blister yes very good episodes right there uh apparently there's gonna be a giveaway by world what was it ali is it a donator status or money another donator status giveaway by world sponsored by ali obviously um and yes so today that that's it christy edge you were great, you fag. Uh, two of hours, raw time, GG. Uh, shout out to Sam. Sam is still here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Sam is still here. We will always be here. <laughs> All right. For Christy Edge and for Ali, this is Rashan. You are listening to the CNR Radio Talk Show.